hello Scorpio I've decided to start a new spread and this spread is going to be it's called um, the essential keys and basically the essential key spread it allows us you know to zoom out and get a quick snapshot on our life and the spread also gives us a glimpse of the past present and future while also focusing on our abilities and passions you know the spread is absolutely phenomenal and I feel like it could provide lots of insight I I honestly feel it in, in, in my heart today that there are going to be tons of messages for you today. I mean, you're watching this video for a reason, right? All right, let's see what we have in your present situation. What's going on in your present situation, Scorpio? Let's see what we can get for you today. Let's see what we can get for you today. All right, what's in here? In your present situation, what's in the present situation for Scorpio? 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 I just got this deck, so just so you know, um, in case you guys are wondering, they're so stiff, but they're great. They really are. I feel like I really um, have tuned myself into these cards, and I feel like they really know me, and I know them. Like, I love the images, and I'm just shuffling a little bit more. I feel like I need to shuffle. I'm just getting that. I need to release all that old energy from the previous uh, reading that I did for you guys. I didn't... Okay, perfect. All right, so for the present situation, Scorpio, you guys got the Page of Pentacles. So this is the element of uh, Earth. So I'm getting um, hmm, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo for this. And basically, the Page of Pentacles is all about um, perhaps a new financial opportunity right now in your present situation, Scorpio, or perhaps a new job right now or perhaps you guys had uh, some some health coming in or perhaps there's something in regards to your wealth. I don't know, um, but that's in your present situation, Scorpio. Whoa, that one wanted to come out. So your recent past, we got the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords talks about, um, this card talks about imprisonment. It also talks about feeling bound, feeling stuck, feeling like you have limitations, like you're limited. Uh, but this is in your recent past. In your recent past, Scorpio, you felt like, like you guys were feeling restricted. Like you guys were just feeling like isolated in the past. Let me know if this resonates at all. Um, I also am getting, um, I'm also getting something about uh, being truthful to just be yourself and to be able to use your mind. Again, swords are all mental. That uh, basically the element of swords, it's air. And the, what's, what symbolizes that is thoughts, communication. And that, again, is all mental. And perhaps in the past, you guys were feeling that way. You guys were feeling like, like you guys were bound, you know? You guys felt like stuck. You guys weren't moving forward. And let me know if the number eight has anything to do with this. Because, again, eights are all about strength. They're all about power. So I don't see this necessarily being a bad thing for you guys, Scorpio, in the past. I honestly, what I'm feeling in this card, I'm honestly feeling some kind of success. Some kind of, perhaps this had to do with um, a belief. Or maybe it had to do with communication. Perhaps in the past, you had some issues with being able to communicate something truthfully. Or perhaps it had, yeah. But I just got the, I just heard the word truth i just heard the word truth all right so now we can see what your abilities are let's see what abilities you currently okay so for your abilities we got three cards and i'm going to explain them to you in just a second so for your abilities, Scorpio, you got your card, which is a moon card. It's a card of, it's this card, uh, it signifies water. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of cleansing uh, in this card. Also, this card is talking about intuition. It's talking about illusions. I speak about illusions all the time. 
Fear is an illusion. Fear is man-made. We created that damn word. So meaning it's not a real thing, dude. Guys, when you guys are feeling afraid, tell yourselves, dude, there's no reason to fear feel afraid because there's no such thing of fear. Fear is all conditioned in thinking. It's all an illusion. It's true what this card is saying. So in regards to your abilities, perhaps that ability that uh, this card is talking about, perhaps it has to do with, uh, mm, with fear with having that ability to switch fear to, to switch to tell yourself that fear is just an illusion to having that willpower to having that to being able to to tap into your subconscious mind you have that ability to tap into your subconscious mind and the moon card has a lot to do with the subconscious mind it has a lot to do with with dreams perhaps that's your ability perhaps there's something in your dreams that you guys need to focus on and that's what spirit is telling you right now follow your dreams listen to your dreams uh, there is a an old uh, what's his name Edgar Casey. I was just I just bought some books about him, but he was all about. Uh, he was actually called known for the. He was known uh, for uh, being able to to you to help people through dreams. He was called the Sleeping Prophet, and basically he was able to document seven hundred and forty five dreams of his that he was able to imp interpret well enough to 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 find messages and 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 meanings. So. That's your ability, Scorpio. That's what spirit wants you to know. Follow your dreams. Listen to that intuition of yours. Um, and just make sure that, that you understand that fear is just an illusion. You know? Fear is just an illusion. It's just an imagination. Okay? And also to tap into your subconscious mind. And you can tap into your subconscious mind when you're sleeping. So that's a huge message for you. So that's the number three card. And we're going to jump into the next. So again, another card that you guys got for your abilities is compassion. You guys are super compassionate. This is a card of Leo. Um, you see how the other the person, the woman's face is half uh, human, half um, lion. And then there's a little sheep right here because she's being compassionate. She's both sides. You know, she's an animal who has, uh, well, I would just say it like this. Uh, this is my analogy. So humans we have morals we have values we have uh, and we have consciousness animals also have consciousness however they have no morals they have no values they kill each other they hunt they, they kill humans we we know not to kill an animal however we still do it but having morals having compassion that's one of your abilities scorpio and that is beautiful and then the next card you got for your abilities you guys got the judgment card and judgment card is a major arcana and judge this card is about awakening this card has a lot to do with renewal with a spiritual calling of yours and again this makes so much sense why all of this goes together i mean to me you got the moon card you got the strength card and you got the judgment card for your abilities i mean it falls under the category of abilities and it's wicked and bizarre to me that these cards they all have an ability a skill the judgment card the judgment card has the ability of, of, of recognizing that you can you have a higher calling that you can rebirth that there's an awakening that there's that there's some kind of transformation so that's an ability and then the strength card is all about courage it's all about courage and it's all about having compassion and having patient patience having that self-control so that's an ability that's a really good ability to have it's good not to be impulsive it's good to to think before you speak it's good to keep those opinions to yourself and listen be able just to listen sometimes people just want you to listen to them and that's a gift and ability that you have my scorpio friend and let me know in the comments below if i'm accurate because if i am i could align myself to that energy of yours and provide more and more insight for free how about that i do all of this for free um again and then for the abilities again you have you got the moon card and what did i tell you the moon card is all about it's all about your dreams and using tapping into your subconscious mind okay scorpio so that's some insight for you right there. So let's jump into the passions. So these cards are supposed to go like this. All right, we're gonna jump into your passions and trust and love. All right, what are the passions? What are the interests and love for my Scorpios? What do they need to know right now? What insight can we provide to them so they could find some answers, so they could feel better, so they could heal? So they, could say, so they could be able to live their lives fully and genuinely and authentically and be themselves. 
So we got two cards for your passions. And you know what? I'm going to pull one more. I'm going to pull one more. Why? Because I'm, I'm being drawn to do it. And because of this, because of the reason that there's one more. Um, so there's, there's one more um, interest, which is love. You got your passions, you got your interests, and now we got your love. So the Queen of Swords would be for your passions. The this following card would be your interests, and the following card after that would be your love. Uh, that sounds like a good plan for me. And I'm going to pull this card because I was just drawn to that one. Yeah, that feels right. All right. So we got three cards here. So for the, this is the order that I got them in. So for the Queen of Swords, that's going to be your passions. And swords, they're all about, um, they're the element of air. Again, Libra, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, they're air signs. And for your passions, you got the Queen of Swords. And Queen of Queens are all about personal development, okay? Queens uh, of Swords are all about being honest, being a suit. They're all about being experienced, again, personal development. And that is your passion. Your passion is being honest. Your passion is... Um, being sharp-minded, being a quick thinker, being a leader, being analytical, being logical, being intelligent. And that is your passion. And then for your interest, you got the king of wands. Nice. So wands, again, remember that's that's the element of fire. And that and fire symbolizes passion and it symbolizes a lot of excitement. You know, you see the color red, you think of passion, right? Um, so for your interest, you got the King of Wands and the Queen King of Wands, they're all about being creative. They're all about inspiring people, being charismatic, and they're all about like not having to force it, not having to, to force, um, um, their creativity or their boldness on people because, you know, Kings, they're really wise. They're like at the top, you know, it goes from the court cards. There's four court cards, right? It goes from pages, knights. It goes from pages, knights, to queens, to kings, right? And then you got from pages being the 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 ones who start uh, to to start of to they start on an idea, on a new project. You got the knights who actually take action on that idea. You got the queens who are super mature and they've already they they're just more about working on themselves. And then you got the kings who are so assertive. They're practical. They're analytical. They're 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 um they're charismatic. They're 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 so creative because they have so much knowledge. So that is your interest. Your interest basically is is that is is seeking leadership, seeking power, gaining power. Perhaps you want to be an entrepreneur, or maybe you you just you have a lot of courage, and that is your interest. Your interest is 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 on seeking leadership somehow. Maybe you're seeking. A, a leadership uh, in, in, in some kind of creativity or perhaps in some kind of passion. You have a passion in leadership. You have a passion in power. You have a passion in courage. All right, so the next card. For your love, you got the three of wands. And again, wands, you got that, um, that fire energy. You got that passion energy for the for your love interests and then threes threes when i see the number three i think of growth i also think of um expansion i think of uh um groups like doing uh things like with three people like um like some kind of group event or something like that um or traveling maybe or doing some kind of um um ex or expanding something right expanding your success because remember wands are all about energy so you're in in, in love you got uh, wanting to 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 be able to um to maybe um do some some traveling or you just you're, you're, you you want to work on that vision of yours you love working on your vision you love traveling perhaps maybe you love uh working on expansion on on your career expanding your career perhaps um maybe um i mean that's all i got right now honestly for that i feel like you you could put your creativity to it i mean look at the picture she's on a freaking surfboard the water is freaking pink that's a beautiful picture that is such an awesome picture so be creative be bold follow your heart do it with love do it with intention 
All right, and now these go right. Okay. Why do I feel confused? One. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, so it's one, two, three, <laughs> and four. There we go. Okay, let's get your last one. And your last one has to do with your likely outcome. So what likely outcome will Scorpio have? All right, I'll stick with those. All right, so the likely, the likely outcome that you're going to have, you got the Empress card. I actually really like this card. I think this card is really beautiful. And this is a major arcana card, meaning uh, it's significant. It's something that you should um, pay attention to. And basically what I get with this card, I know that this is a feminine card. This is a grandmother card, a mother figure card. Um, I know that this is a third card in the deck. And we just talked about the number threes. Threes meaning growth, expansion, uh, family, harmony. Um, and this card being uh, perhaps pregnancy. <laughs> perhaps pleasure. Perhaps uh, maybe a lot of abundance. Lots of abundance. I mean, again this is a card of of i mean this is the emperor she's she there's the emperor and then there's the emperor empress sorry this is the empress and then there's the emperor you know you got the empress who's 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 sensitive who's all about creativity who's mothering that's why that's why she has that big old belly right because she's but fertility doesn't necessarily mean um being pregnant it could mean being bringing things into fruition you know uh, bringing in abundance good abundance and that's what this card is all about and when i see this card i think of mothering i think of that mother energy that feminine energy so that's a really good likely outcome to get and then following that card you got the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles this card speaks of uh skills so perhaps in, in your likely outcome you guys are gonna uh inherit a new skill or perhaps you guys you guys are gonna be um um, recognize for your hard work or perhaps you guys are going to be more productive or you guys are going to be um perhaps you guys are going to gain um, some kind of um some kind of um um i'm thinking like uh some kind of education maybe because she's on a chair she has all these pentacles and when i see pentacles i think of things that are physical i think that i think of of um things that are external um this is an earth card this the element this is an element of earth and this symbolizes material possessions so that's why i see that she's sitting on a chair so i thought of education and then i see all these little pentacles so she's one happy chick so that is your bro you guys got a really good outcome let me tell you that is fantastic so then following that card you guys got the king of swords for your likely outcome and the king of swords remember they're all about mental they're all about thoughts and beliefs and communication so the king's being all about logic they're all about speaking the truth they're all about being leaders so that's that's the message i'm getting for you for your likely outcome you guys are going to be leaders you guys are going to be able to have integrity and be able to lose your analytical skills and be intellectual Oof, i love that so yeah, that's what I have for you today. I think this was a pretty good reading. Let me know in the comments below if this resonates at all with you. If you would like to see more, if there's any other, any things you guys have in mind, let me know. I'm new to this and I love doing this. I really, really do. So let me know in the comments below if it resonates. And if it does, I could attune myself to that awesome energy of yours and provide more insight. And I would love to do that for free for anyone. So spread the word. Bye guys. Have a wonderful day.